In this video, we're going to practice scaling up. If you recall, back when we did our ratios, we'd have something like 4 to 5, and then it would have to be set equal to 100, and we'd say uh, 5 times 20 gives me 100, and then 4 times 20 will give me 80. Okay, it's the same idea. So looking at another example like this, this will often, it appears, well, it appears this will often be presented as a story problem, but you may get it just as numbers. So let's try this. Let's say we have 13 uh, out of 20 students, okay, and then we have to scale up to get our percents. The question will say, find the percent. Find the percent of students. So this is a part to whole, and we discussed that today in class. So find the percent of students, dot, 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 fill in the blank. We don't know. Okay, so how did 20 get to 100, which is what we were asking when we were doing our ratios unit. 20 had to be multiplied by 5. So same idea here. 13 has to get multiplied by 5, 13 times 5. It's okay, we'll just do this like this. Remember, we're practicing not using calculators. So our answer is 65, okay? So I need to change this now. I've got it as a decimal. So the next thing I have to do, the next part of my process here, I'm going to have to write 65 one hundredths. I have it right now as a ratio. I need to change it to a decimal. Okay, very simple. I just remember that 65 is divided by 100. I move my decimal two places to the left. Okay, To make this as a percent, I move my decimal two places to the right, and I write 65 percent. Let's try another example. Let's say we have 15 out of 50 students. Okay, remember we have to scale up. We're setting it equal to 100 because we've got to find our percent. And remember percent, remember this little suffix and or pre prefix here has to do with the number 100. Okay, so per 100. All right, so how did 50 become 100? 50 times 2. Okay, so now I have to remember the whiny kid. 15 times 2, I get 30 to 100. Write that as a decimal and I get... 3 tenths, okay? It's really this, but I don't have to write the zero on the end. You may not have the option, if you're using a standardized test format, you may not have the option of a zero on the end. Turn that into a percent, two times to the right, and I get 30 percent. All right, one more example. Let's say, <clears throat> now one thing we noticed with the percents was that the little number is going to go on top. Now, sometimes they'll tell you we might have something like 20 students and uh, 15 of them wanted to do this or that. Okay, so if we were writing a ratio, we'd say 20 to 15. However, with a percent, we'll have to put the smaller number on top, 15 to 20. Okay, again, setting it equal to 100 because these two numbers have to do with the whole, okay? It's the whole idea of part to whole. And the two numbers here will be the parts, okay? So how did 20 become 100? Had to multiply by 5. So 15 times 5. 15 times 5, I know that 15 times 4 is 60, plus another 15 is 75. Turn that into a decimal, 75 hundredths and 75 percent, okay?